Hello and welcome to Ancura's YouTube Tuesday. Over the next five weeks, we are going to be talking about powerful pivot table applications for research administration. And this week, week one, we're going to be talking about why research admin needs pivot tables now and how you can get started. I'm Dan McNamara. I'm director of development at smarteradmin.com. And in both my current role and when I was formerly a research administrator at Columbia University's Medical Center, I constantly sought out ways to optimize a lot of my research admin day-to-day -day headaches. And the best way I found and the theme of this five-week series is with what we call the Swiss Army knife of Microsoft Excel, pivot tables. So first, the why. Why use pivot tables? Well, pivot tables are the one tool that will provide the most dramatic impact on simplifying your day-to-day. -day. Here is a truth we are all dealing with. Data sets are growing faster now than ever before meaning it's easier than ever to drown in these huge data sets, but pivot tables will help you avoid that and help you organize these overwhelming data sets instead. And finally, mastery of pivot tables is an invaluable and rare skill set that will translate to career growth and broader opportunities. But don't just take our word for it. In a recent issue of NCURA magazine, in an article titled Partnering with Your Spreadsheets to Excel in Your Work, Terry Hall from University of Notre Dame said, pivot tables will change your life. But here's the biggest reason to start using pivot tables. Your PIs and managers are already asking for them. It's just a frantic request usually comes in like this. Your chair barges in at 4.59 p.m. and says, I need to see how each PI's award pipeline compares to their active awards, and I need it as soon as possible. She has just asked you for something in pivot table speak, because these are pivot table fields, and we will see these fields when we build our pivot table. So how do we get up and running with a pivot table? Well, let's take a look at a sample data set. You can view this data set and the finished pivot table dashboard. We'll end up with today at our website, but this is a simple award management data set telling us our awards by sponsor, PI, and award status. And one quick thing, take note of the names of the column headers, sponsor, PI, award status. We'll see them later, so remember them. Turning your data set into a pivot table is as easy as clicking into your data set, clicking the insert tab, and clicking pivot table. Now, Excel is smart enough to grab your entire data range, and I'd suggest you choose a new worksheet for where you'd like your pivot table to be placed and press OK. Now, a quick pivot table 101. To the left is the canvas or the pivot table reporting output, and to the right is the actual pivot table controls. And see anything familiar to the right? Anything familiar about the field names in the field list? They should be familiar for two reasons. First, they match one-to-one -one with the column headers of your underlying data. And second, they match one-to-one -one with your chair's request. All we have to do is take your chair's request, identify the pivot table fields, and drag these fields into our pivot table. So the chair wants to note the total direct amount. And look how it pops up on the canvas to the left. And watch what happens over here as I add fields. Watch how smart Excel is at both slicing and summarizing the data for us. So she wants to know the total direct amount by PI, by award status, and by sponsor. And I am literally just dragging these fields in. It is that easy. Now let's quickly highlight this column, give it a currency format for easier report readability. And now we can easily interact with our pivot table to see information within a single PI's portfolio or across all PI's. And we have an answer and powerful pivot table dashboard for our chair in seconds. Now let's say your chair sees this and loves it. You're now her favorite employee, but your chair sees this and asks, but wait, can we see how many awards there are too? Now, if you had set up a summary table with formulas for this request, instead of a pivot table, and you get this curveball from your chair, you are in trouble. You have to go back and recreate this from scratch, and you're no longer her favorite employee. But this is the best thing about pivot tables, their flexibility. Because with pivot tables, it's as easy as taking a label field, like our system account ID or sponsor award number, and dragging it into the value section. Now, the only thing Excel can do with a pure label field is count up the items in that field, which is exactly what we wanted to do, because now we can see how many awards there are for each row of our pivot table. And this count field is just as flexible and powerful as your built-in direct amount field. So we can easily see Jane Doe's seven pending awards, John Smith's two ended awards, 
and Susan Mabry's three active awards. And congratulations, you've just created a powerful pipeline visualization pivot table dashboard, and you're back to being your chair's favorite employee. That's all for this week. We showed you how to get up and running with pivot tables and explained how they can organize overwhelming amounts of data, lead to career growth, and use their flexibility to navigate any last second chair curveballs. Next week, we'll talk about how pivots can take you from hating your source system to loving it by giving you all the reporting you need that your source system lacks. Thank you for watching and see you next week.